Mr. Owen Moon. We live? We're live on LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. How are you doing? I'm doing great. More importantly, how are you doing? We are doing fabulous. So doing tell fabulous. us a little bit about what you do. So Fix Ops Digital, um, we're an online service marketing company, and our biggest, I guess you could say, what we, you know, what we do first and foremost is build an infrastructure on the website, right? So we're doing specials management, we tie that in with like good uh, content about different services and then bringing in like explainer videos. Yeah. Kind of creating that whole infrastructure that we've seen work on the sales side, we bring it to the service side. Once that gets done, then we start doing, you know, more traditional uh, strategies like, like social marketing, yeah. Facebook, um, uh, paid search, stuff like that. Now that's key because, you know, if you walk into any store and you pick the number, it doesn't really matter, and you ask the GM or the dealer principal, you know, how much of your budget have you allocated towards variable ops marketing? And they could usually, within a few dollars, sell you exactly what it is. 100%. Now, I walk in, I ask the same question, how much are you allocating towards your fixed ops marketing? Yeah. And then that conversation changes dramatically because the look that I get is generally not followed up by any kind of a number. Not only is it not a number, but it's very high level, right? Oh, we're, very. Doing, we're doing some email marketing, or we're doing some direct mail to our database. Nobody is conquesting trying to drive in those new customers that are online, right? Right. And that online customer is a lot different, so you gotta you gotta work with those customers differently. You gotta provide a different uh, shopping experience. And yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's it's typically not enough, you know, and, and we're starting to kind of change that. Um, I think what happens is is a lot of service departments they don't know what to do. Right. So they look to a company like us to really provide them a good playbook. That's what we do every day for our guys. I was going to say, I mean, it's it's what you do, so you kind of know the lay of the land. Yeah, we get a little deeper too, you know. Um, like again, being very surfacey, you get you can maybe hit one one strategy, but we get into tires. We talk about accessories, tires, yeah. number one defection point, right? 100. So if you can build out a good strategy for each of those, now the dealership has something that they can actually drive customers to, and that helps them, you know, create that additional business. So. And then you create specific pages. Yep for the dealership? Yeah, we call them service detail pages. Yeah. Basically, it's, it's a combination of kind of an explainer page. What is this video or what is this offer? What's this service? And then and tying it in with kind of a why service message for the dealership. We, uh, you know, we always are fighting uh, the independents, right? Jimmy right. Lubes, uh, you know, uh, the, the monkey keys, things like that. You know, we have to be able to tell the customer not only that this is a service they need, but why should they come to the dealership to get that done? Well, and, and the other nice thing about it is that when when the customer goes to the dealership's website, one that's your client, yes. they will actually see a bunch of content that's service related. Not only content, but a, a, a you know in a, in a way that takes them down that service shopping funnel to the appointment. And I think that's the most important thing that we really haven't stressed enough, probably to our clients or even to to the market. Yeah, it's not just about building content. It's not just putting about coupons on the website. It's actually creating an infrastructure where you take that customer down to the appointment, just like we do on the sales side, right? We take that customer through the SRP, the VDP yeah. to the lead. We're doing the same thing. It's specials page to the content that's specific for that special to the appointment. And uh, just building it all out in a way that really makes sense for the customer. So you're, you're guiding them to the purchase. You're guiding them to the store. Just like Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, you know, it, it used to be that uh, we were car dealers. Now we're not car dealers, we're retailers. So many profit centers, especially in the fix ops. Yeah. Right? It's not just about selling a car. Obviously, in selling the car, you got F and I, you got warranty. Here, you got parts, tires, accessories, collision, service. You know, we're getting now into recalls, um, maintenance intervals. You know, different things like that. And now, it's also selling cars out of the service lane. Let's have some information about that whole process. So, right. We, There's we, so we many deals. Anything, we really work with our dealerships uh, for those custom strategies. So. There's so many deals to be had, but you know, a lot of stores just don't have the strategy to do it. Or the or the or the people power. Right. right? They don't right. Have, nobody internally is going to spend that much time doing what we do. So, you know, we we just provide a really good uh, infrastructure for the dealer that, that you know partner with us. So. And you're building a nice portfolio of dealerships that are partnering with you. 100%. Yeah, we're we're blessed. Obviously, there's been a lot of challenges. COVID. We've got uh, 
you know, chip shortages, inventory problems, all of that has made uh, the fixed outside of the business just that much more valuable. And so, yeah, we're busy. We're really busy. <laughs> so you got an example here. <coughs> yeah, that's our new uh, drive service specials uh, coupon software that we've just rolled out. And uh, you can see it's really, really clean looking. It's got the most relevant call to actions that uh, for your online customers. Can you see this right here? This is an integration that we just did with uh, Sunbit. So one of our missions, oh. yeah, so one of our missions as a company is to make sure that all the other parts of their marketing or their, their, uh, their you know, infrastructure or their department yeah. all kind of work better, right? A lot of people use repair financing. Let's, let's pre-market that to customers. Let's show yeah. them that they can get this deal for $9.39 a month. At least it's giving them a little information. So when they get to the dealership, they can ask about it. But when the, when the advisor brings it up, they don't necessarily feel like they're getting the sticker shock, you know? Well, that's great because I think uh, some time back, I saw a stat that if somebody were to be hit with a $400 repair bill or a $500 repair bill, a lot of people wouldn't have the money to do that. No. But nine, ten dollars a month to get their car fixed so they can get back to work. I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer. It's a necessity. Let's do it. So yeah. let's. Our mission is just to be, be that resource for the dealership to bring all of their parts of their of their department to life and kind of work together with everybody because you know, some bit. The only time that gets brought up is right when you said, "Hey, you got a four hundred dollar bill." Or, or um, repair that needs to be done, that person says, I don't have the money. Now all of a sudden their guard's up. They just want to get out of there, right? They want to right, get out of that right. situation. Save face, yeah. let's go. Why not pre-market it so when they do bring it up, they'd be like, oh yeah, I saw that. I get that for 10 bucks a month. Well, here's the here's the thing too, that there are people that if they got hit with that bill, they might not want to confide that they don't have the money. True. Right? Very proud, right? Proud people. Because they don't know them. there's an option. But if, yeah. if they come in, you know, and, and they didn't have the money. Now they, you can change the whole conversation. Well, I saw something on your website about servicing as low as nine thirty nine a month. Can yep. you tell me about that? Tell me a little more about it. That's a whole different conversation, right? It's a whole different That's conversation. That's what dealerships want to have, not the other conversation, which is guards up, get me, right. get me out of here. Scenario. They're not yeah. saving face. No. They're there to do business. I mean, somebody comes in, nobody's just coming to kick tires or, or look. They're coming to fix stuff. Yeah, something's changed in their life today, and so they need that get you know that that uh, that fix. And so yeah. Let's get that information on a website on the dealership's website so they can just soften the the you know the guard, right? Give it give the customer the, the ability to trust that dealership and know that this is somebody that I want to work with. Awesome. Not going to the minor keys or the Jiffy Lube. Owen Moon, Fix Stops Digital. You can find their profile on dealervendormatch.com.